Good everyone, Justin here with Link Software Training Demonstration. Today we're going to show you the Customers module in UniWorld Links. Now there's various ways that uh, UniWorld terminals can be uh, set up to handle customers, but today we're going to show you the simplest and probably the uh, most recommended way that we set up customers in a UniWorld terminal that to be handled in UniWorld Links and that is where you enter customer account sales in the UniWorld cash register itself but then you collect those sales back to UniWorld links and track the balances and make payments in the UniWorld links software only so that's the simplest and most effective way there are other options um, but we'll um, just discuss this simple way today um, if you need to know more about the other options you've got as far as tracking customers in a UniWorld terminal then you can talk to your uh, support provider or your local UniWorld dealer. Now just something we'll show you quickly in the preferences of UniWorld links is a couple of settings that are handy for the customers module. This one here is very important this is the customer charge media. What this tells the software is what charge media has been associated with customer accounts in the UniWorld terminals. So when all the sales and the electronic journal get collected back to UniWorld Links, UniWorld Links knows that if Media 2 is used, then that was a sale that's been charged to the customer's account in comparison to one that's been finalised by cash or, or credit card. Now, just one other important thing here is if you are going to use the emailing of customer statements in your UniWorld Link software which is a very good feature you'd need to have your correct email settings set up here but we have other tutorials that discuss that in uh, more detail okay so the first thing we'll show you is creating a new um, customer in your software so you go to data, down to customers, and uh, we'll add a new one. Now, as far as the code, each site will have their own way they want to do their coding, but I'm just going to put a, a mock mobile phone number in there as the customer's code. Give them a name. And you put all the address details in here, phone and fax and all the rest. Um, I will put a, an, a valid email address in there so that you can see uh, what effect that has later on in doing my da uh, emailing of the customer accounts. Now these settings here we won't discuss in detail, but often a lot of those settings get sent down to different terminals depending on the type of terminal you've got and can affect the way the customer is treated in the UniWorld terminal itself. Okay, so that's that set up. So we'll close that and we'll send that down to the cash register. Okay, so we've got the terminal ticked, we've got customers ticked, we just send that down. Okay, now that's been sent to the register. Now what I'm going to do is just pause briefly and I will go and make a couple of sales in the register and then we'll show you how to bring them back. Okay, so I've gone and made some sales against some of those customers in the terminal. Now let's collect those sales back and we'll have a look at the uh, reports that we can get out of UniWorld links for them. Okay, so we might that'll be fine. That's good. Okay, this will take a a minute or so to do, but nonetheless it's good to be able to show you through the process that goes on. Okay. So let's have a look at some customer reports now. So up to sales, down to customer reports. 
first one will show you is a transaction report. Now we'll leave it at all dates. Obviously, as you've got a lot of data in your system, you can um, vary the report date range so that you can be quite specific about the report you're getting. But we'll just have a look at everything. Okay, so you can see there, there's the the sales that have been made in this testing database that I've got built up. These are the ones that were done just now. Uh, so that was the customer that we just created in the system and sent down. Uh, and you can see here there's some payments that have been made in the software and we'll show you how to do them in a moment. So there's some uh, handy information there uh, regarding total sales for customers. Uh, we'll have a look at what the statements look like. Uh, we might do say month to date for the sake of the exercise. Okay, now I'll just show you the whole page. I realize it makes it a bit small on the screen, but you can see the whole statement now. So you can see there the transactions that have taken place and leaving you with a total. Now this message down the bottom here, I'll show you how to change that message in your um, software so that the customer gets a message of your choosing on their statement. But as you can see here, we've got the five customers in our system, five statements. Hope you get to see that clear enough uh, on your screen. We'll close that. Now, to change that customer statement message, you just click on this button here, and you can see there's the message there. You've got a couple of extra lines you can play with. This section here is when we do the email of customer statements. Obviously, the statement itself gets attached as a PDF to the email, and this is what's in the email message itself. Alright, so Again, that's quite easy to set up just with that customer statement message button there. And just one other um, report I'll show you for now is the customer journal. Let's go back to all dates for that. And we'll view that. Now this is another handy report for your customer transactions. Uh, obviously, again, it's divided um, basically a new page for each different customer um, but you can see specifically what they've purchased um, based on the electronic journal information for that these customer transactions okay so that's again what's come back from the UniWorld terminals okay so that's just some of the detail that you can get out of your software uh, when you're using it to track your customer information. Alright, so now that we've had a look at those reports, let's um, show you one other feature of the software, and that's the email customer statements. Okay, now how this works is this screen is populated with customers that have a valid email address and also have a balance against their account. Uh, we won't send them off, but basically you tick the um, customer you want to get the statement, or you can select all, and then you say send, and as long as you're connected to the internet and your other email settings are correct in the software, the software will generate a uh, statement and uh, send that off to the, your customer. So I did that process before and I'll just show you what the email looks like. Okay, so that's an email. Obviously it's come from you know, the demo company email address uh, and it's got the e-statement as a PDF and you'll notice that that's on our email message in that customer statement messages um, window. So again, very neat feature and your client will then know how much they need to pay on their account. Okay, now when it comes to making payments in the software, and remember we're dealing with the configuration where 
you make all the payments in Unibuildings itself rather than in the terminal. So we go up to sales again, down to customer transactions. Okay, and we can choose a new customer, say this customer here and we can pay their account off. Now the reference number can be whatever we like, an internal um, number, of, like an invoice number, or it can be a um, check number or whatever you want to put in there, so we'll just put that number in there for now. And we'll pay off the $38. Okay, and that's now in the system. Okay, so if we were to go and have a look at a statement for that particular customer, customer statements, and we'll choose that customer. You'll see the opening balance, which was $38 from a previous sale, and then the payment we've just made with the uh, reference number there and the balance now back to zero. Okay, so I hope that's explained how the um, customer's module works. It's quite simple in its implementation, but very effective, and the reports are excellent for your managing um, customers in your system. Uh, if there's any other questions you've got about the customer's module, uh, by all means contact us at uh, POSLINKS, or also talk to your uh, Link software support provider to get the, those answers. Uh, and if you want to visit our website and see other videos and uh, other training information, then go to that. That's poslinks.com.au. All right. Thanks very much.